Welcome, everyone, to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. I'm Dave. I'm your host, and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida, PE. Yes, PE, kindergarten through fifth grade. So thank you for joining in, and I really appreciate you being here. So today will be a five boomer Friday. It goes like this. I was thinking of doing a five meow Friday. Let's check this out. I I just didn't think that would work. So (laughs) I decided a while ago to do a five boomer Friday. And what that means is five things that I'd like to talk about today and, and keep it relatively short. Try to keep these short for your weekends if that's when you're listening to it. If not, just keeping it short. So today... We have our first boomer. Here it is. So the first one is an app. It's not a new app. It's been out there a while, but I think it's really worth having in your PE program. It is Fit Radio. Now, Fit Radio, um, basically, they take these songs, old and new, and kind of mix them together and have some cool beats. So even if it's something like old, like an 80s song that doesn't really have a great beat, it just, they make it into a great beat. It's pretty cool. And DJ Flash is definitely one of the DJs I listen to the most with students because I am I know that he keeps it clean. And you can make sure they are clean versions um, just by looking at them or, or just making sure they, they do say clean on them. <laughs> just, just to be sure about that. So Fit Radio is a high energy, if you want it to be, workout music app or can be a little more chill depending on what you need and what you want. But I really enjoy doing warm-ups with the third through fifth grade, sometimes second graders. I mean, you can go lower if you want, but basically it is good for them because they, they get into it more so than like Baby Shark or something like that. So Fit Radio is definitely something worth worth it. I actually do the yearly membership because I use it so much. And I'm not even sure what it costs now. It's it's a decent amount, but I think it's worth it. And maybe you could even get your administration to chip in a little bit. I don't know. Just guessing or just saying. Maybe, maybe. But it's worth it. And it's worth it just to have it at home. I'll play it sometimes just with my, with my kids. So the app is Fit Radio, and that is number one. Okay, number two, a podcast. If you know me at all, you know I love podcasts. Now... Tony Robbins is somebody I've been following for, I'm not kidding you, at least 20 years. So now that he has a podcast out, I really enjoy listening to it. And some are kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's not even Tony, it's one of his coaches, and that's okay too. But this, actually the last two I listened to are really good. Now I talked about Sean White before or recently, so I'm going to give you two. He interviewed Sean White and that was incredible. Just him talking about just his whole journey and come back and just... It was great. It was very inspirational. It was one of my favorite podcasts I think I've ever listened to. And the one I listened to a little bit more recently is with Nick Foles, the quarterback of now the Jacksonville Jaguars. He just signed. And his journey and how he was almost out of the league. Um, He wanted to quit or he was contemplating quitting. And he talked to his wife and decided to go a little bit more. And look at him now. He's not just the backup quarterback and he actually was the MVP of the Philadelphia Eagles uh, two seasons ago when they won the Super Bowl because Carson Wentz was hurt. And he went from there to being the backup again. And now he should be, I'm thinking, the starter in Jacksonville as I'm recording this. So it's just a great journey. Great to hear about his faith and how he um, just where, you know, where he came from and where he is now. So. The podcast is Tony Robbins, and the two episodes are Sean White and Nick Foles. Okay, number three, a game. Now, I have this game. I talked about this on an episode. It's called called Treasure Hunters, and it's something I really enjoy, and it can be modified for many different um, units. And it's something where the kids get a lot of touches on the ball or the you know hockey with the hockey stick or whatever you're using. Treasure Hunters is a great game. I will link up the free PDF in the episode notes. So check it out. It is a fantastic game for grades K through four or five. It's awesome. Check it out. Treasure Hunters. Okay, music. Now I was looking through the music and thinking, well, what do I play a lot in PE for warm-ups? 
one of the, I guess, CDs, albums, whatever you want to call it nowadays, because it's all digital pretty much, is the zombie soundtrack, the Disney's, the Disney movie Zombies. The soundtrack, I'll play um, some songs from there as we do the warm-ups because they're high energy for the most part, and the kids seem to like them. So the music is Zombies. Okay, for my fifth one, I chose a person to follow on Twitter. Now, I could choose a lot of people because there's a lot of people that have influenced me and a lot of people that I really uh, just uh, admire and respect and think they really have provided a lot of value to me and the phys ed community. So in this case, I'm going to choose Mike Graham. He is out of Illinois, near Chicago. He is a great guy just in general to talk to, but also just delivering lots of value. So follow him. On Instagram, he is at PE for every kid, and I will link that up in the episode notes as well. But check out Mike Graham and all the great things he's doing. He is awesome, and that is number five. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I kept that one really short, so <laughs> I want to make sure uh, I want I keep it practical and short. And I think I probably did both. I hope. I hope I did. I know I kept it practical. And I know I kept it short. So there you go. That is your Five Boomer Friday. Check out supersizephysed.com for more resources and information and sign up for our newsletter and all the good stuff we're doing here and everywhere in the phys ed world. You guys are awesome and girls. I always say that. You, y'all. See, I don't like y'all. I can't say y'all, even though a lot of people say it down here. Y'all are awesome. Y'all keep going. So anyways, you're great people, great peeps, great phys ed peeps. <laughs> anyways, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Here's a new beat for you.